Harmi, let's go to Arizona because I know you were actually on the ground in Arizona. A lot of people talk about it. You were actually there. I know Carrie Lake herself has shown her public appreciation for what you did there. Tell people who are confused right now what happened, what's happening in Arizona, what, 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 what was bad, what was good, what happened? Let's step back to the 2020 election. <clears throat> Arizona, particularly Maricopa County, where the bulk of the population is there, um, made a lot of mistakes with respect to, you know, pens and ballots and machines and all of that. I'm not saying, like some people have, that, oh, these machines are being programmed to switch votes from one side to the other. I think that, that would be a conspiracy that would be hard to keep under wraps. But voter confidence is impacted when they see that um, <clears throat> they're putting their ballots into a machine that can't read them because some poorly trained election worker did not set the printer settings correctly on the printer. Or worse, which is what happened in 2022, they did not test those machines with ballots printed on site. Now, I don't know how it is where the viewers live, but in Arizona, they got a what's called a vote center system now in Maricopa County. So you can actually go anywhere in the county, no matter where you live, and get a ballot printed that lists your local stuff. Now, that requires that the printers work correctly. If they don't work correctly, if the reader can't read what the printer says, then you have chaos. You have long lines. You have overflowing boxes of ballots. You have mistakes like happened in Maricopa County where it appears in a couple of locations. They mixed up ballots that have been counted and not counted and they had to go do it again, segregate it, cover it up. Um, all of those things happen there. The problem is that if you haven't laid the groundwork before an election to litigate, to make sure that these people are under a consent decree or a court order so that they have to do certain things the right way, then there's little that you can do. Almost no court in the country is going to step in and allow a do-over after election day. That's extremely rare. So I documented all of that that happened there. I had six attorneys at my firm working after the fact to take declarations and contact 100 wit witnesses and do our best to make sure that we made a track record. I think what's going to happen, you know, Carrie has a lot of other lawyers on the ground. I'm, you know, giving them information and she's working directly with them and also, you know, continuing to get advice from me. Um, the, the, uh, there is litigation ongoing with Abe Hamaday for attorney general. He's within 500 or so votes. And so there needs to be a recount effort over there, supervised by lawyers. And I think what we need to do is take all of this information and make sure that we clean up Maricopa County. There's a couple other problem counties as well, but you cannot wait until election day and start complaining about it then. You really have to lay the groundwork in advance. So when I hear, for example, that the RNC is sort of going to like step back from election integrity for now because of funding or what have you, I heard that from a DC insider, a top election lawyer. That really concerns me because there is no off day for the Democrats. Mark Elias doesn't take off for Christmas and, you know, a month and party. He's filing lawsuits around the clock. We have to be doing the same. We are not, nowhere near um, near matching them on that. And so that would be a top priority for me if I were elected chair of the RNC. Donor confidence, which is necessary for the money needed to hire the good lawyers who will fight around the clock. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.